The strategies for safe movement of patients, as shown in this video, are general in nature. They can apply to many types of patients, but may need to be modified for certain diagnoses, impairments, or precautions that a given patient might have. Thus, for a specific patient, the strategy shown may need modification. If you are unsure of how to safely move an individual patient, it's recommended that you consult with the occupational or physical therapists at your facility. This video is going to show how to correct a loss of balance in the sideways direction, then assist the patient into a chair. A gait belt serves as an important point of control. It is placed at the center of the patient's mass and therefore can be used to control how their mass is moving. It also prevents you from having to pull on a patient's upper extremities or clothing should they lose their balance. During a loss of balance, most of your assistance through the gait belt should be in the horizontal plane, not necessarily pulling up through the gait belt to keep the patient upright at all costs. Often, the best thing that a gait belt can do is to either help the patient correct minor losses of balance through horizontal corrections you may provide, or slow the patient down during a descent onto a lower surface. Anytime you need to pull on the gait belt, try to use a firm, smooth pull. A quick pull with excessive force may cause the patient and you to have further imbalance due to overcorrection. If the patient begins to lose their balance sideways while ambulating, direct her towards you with your points of contact at the gait belt and shoulder. Use the gait belt to pull her towards your body so that she can briefly lean against you. This is why it is important that you are stable yourself by having a wide stance. If the patient loses their balance to the point that they cannot regain it, ideally another person is nearby to assist by bringing a chair or wheelchair. This will allow you to lower the patient into a chair rather than to the floor. Have the patient lean against you until the chair arrives. Once the chair is positioned close, move slightly to one side of the individual so that they can be lowered into the chair. As you lower the patient, keep a wide stance yourself to maximize your stability. Keep the patient's body close to your own so you are not keeping them at arm's length and therefore straining your back. And, as best as you can, squat down as you lower them down rather than flexing through your spine. 